Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Cocker Drop, a series where we try on clothes and figure out what's going back to the store. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, we're back with the part two. If you guys checked out my last video, your girl got a mic. So we're trying these videos in a different way where we are trying on the clothes and commenting at the same time. I feel like my real life commentary is way better than just voiceovers anyway. Um, and I also want to talk to you guys because I'm lonely. So we're going to get into it. So we did the first three outfits, as you can see. I'm like just throwing my shit away. <laughs> and now we're going to do these three. So I started up my Copper Drop series, basically just trying to find really cute clothes that make me feel really good. But people weren't reviewing the things that were my style, so to speak. I was particularly picky about picking clothes that are advertised to me because I'm a sucker and these advertisements be working. And I get so annoyed when I buy things that are advertised to me and they don't fit or they don't fit well or anything like that. So if you guys fall into this category at all, I am here for you. We will no longer be bamboozled. Okay. Ooh, I like this. Here's a cute outfit. This is cute. I'm going to do close up. So the shirt, again, ribbed, stretchy, no issues. I'm keeping this shirt because I think I can definitely wear it with anything. This skirt is very pretty too. I like this. Is it a ruching or is it a, a draping technique? I'm not sure, but I like the way this technique is happening. happening. It's hiding the fupa. And it's a satin material. It feels really nice. These type of style or draping techniques can run the risk of giving you diaper butt. I can't, I don't got eyes behind the back of my head. So y'all tell me if I got diaper butt in this, <laughs> in this skirt, but it feels like I don't. I don't know where I would wear it. So the thing with my copper drops, it has to fit. It has to feel good. It has to make me not sweat. It has to look, complement my skin, my makeup, all that stuff but it also needs to be wearable. I have so much clothes to begin with that I like, I literally have closet number one, closet number two. I cannot be wearing and keeping clothes that I know I'm not gonna wear. And I just don't know when I would wear this outfit together, but I really do think I could wear them separately. So I think, you know what, decision maker, we're keeping it. We're keeping the shirt, we're keeping the skirt. We're just not gonna wear them together because this is not a vibe that I like. Decision made. Look at me. So authoritative. <laughs> okay. You guys let me know in the comments how you feel about the pairing. Um, if you guys would keep them or not. Or just drop down in the comments and say, hello. How are you, friends? Next dress is this really long summer maxi dress. I don't know. This might have been a New York thing. Y'all tell me if this is a New York thing. But back in the 2000s, this dress had all the big booty mamas in a chokehold and if it wasn't this dress it was this pattern they had it in romper style they had it in jean style they had it in shirt style maxi dress short dress literally this pattern was everywhere so it gave me nostalgia but i also want to toy around with yellow a lot more for the summer and this felt like a very safe way in doing that so we're gonna try it on this has to fit i I feel like I don't even need to like validate that, but for the purpose of making sure that I'm not wasting my money by holding on to shit I don't need, we're gonna try it on. I this is so all right. Y'all yeah, know the towel method, right? <laughs> when you have makeup on your face, so you gotta put a towel on when you shine on clothes. Woo! Not a towel, but I push a fucking wig down. Ah, dang. I don't know if the mic caught all of that or if it caught none of it. First off, this is a much tighter fit than I was expecting. That's one. Two. I like it. It's cute. Yay. Three. It's see-through. This is a see-through motherfucking dress because look at that. I can see the shorts. Like, I can see that the shorts underneath this dress is black. And I'm pretty sure y'all can see it too. So this is see-through and you need to wear it with black underwear should you buy it. But damn. It's setting. Yeah, no, this is very pretty. Wait, this is not comfortable though. It's also long. So I have to wear heels with this. 
And this is not the type of dress I would wear heels for. No, this is a uh, Crocs, socks and sandals, or just regular sandals type of dress. This is, this is going back. First off, I had to do the towel method to get it on, which is frustrating. Did I second guess myself and keep it? No, no, keep going back. This is a drop, we're dropping this. The nostalgia is not doing the work that it needs to for me to keep this. So she is going back. And that's that on that. Next, outfit number three. This is a cute um, wrap around top with pants. Oh, these pants feel nice. These pants are a keeper. Um, you know what? You know what it is with buying sets when one thing fits really pretty and then the other is just like. Wah, wah. I, re I know it's like this, um, and then you can't return one, but you can return the other. And it's like, well, why y'all, why y'all giving me good on top and bad on the bottom, or vice versa? Make them both great. Now I'm just ranting, but this is basically what this outfit would look like. And I'm a fan already. Keeping here, we're not thinking twice about it. The material is stretchy, it's breathable, it's light, it's giving summer, it's giving, I'm a cute, sexy little rainbow. Um, ooh, you see? Oh, dang. This is throwing me off. Like, I would have liked it if it was just pink all over, but it does call into the shirt. Did I put this on backwards? I think I'm gonna put it on backwards because that doesn't make sense. There's no ticket, so I guess you could wear it whichever way you want. I'm gonna wear it this way so it makes sense. Yeah, I like this. I like this method better. We're gonna do it this way, and we're keeping her. She's a cop. Don't at me at yourself. Last but certainly not least, it's a very much the same line of uh, thinking. I wanted a rainbow -y type of dress. This is less that pattern, but I saw it on the Amazon model and I was like, oh, she did. Oh, this is a little too big. Who would have thought? I think this was got this in a large. I'm usually a large in these summer maxi type dresses. Oh, this is pretty. This is too big. So I'm going to return it and get it for a smaller size, but I like the pattern. I like the way it feels. It's a ribbed, stretchy material. Yeah. She's a cop. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you tune in to part three.